So let's talk about the switch statement in PHP. So we've talked about if, if else, and else if statements. And so these are all ways that you can look to see if a condition is true, and if it is, then you can run code. The question is, is what happens when you start getting really, really, really big else if statements? You know, okay, you have an if, and an else if, and another else if, and another else if, and another else. It can start to get very confusing and very difficult to read very quickly. And that's why many people decide to use a switch statement instead. So basically what a switch statement does is it looks to see what the value of a variable is, and then based off the value of the variable, then whatever the case is or the switch, it will then run the code that's assigned to it. So basically this is a way you can say that if the value of the variable is this, then do this. If it's 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 none of those things, you go to what's called default, and then you run whatever code you put under default. So it's a way It's a way of uh, looking at things. Let's say you have radio boxes or combo boxes. Basically, somebody puts in an option. So it, let's say you scroll down a list, and so you can, you can have a list of different states. And so if somebody picks Michigan, then it can go to a switch, and it basically says, if the case is Michigan, then what you do is you run this line of code. So this is where you have known variable values, like many known variable values, and then it can quickly take a look, see what the value is, and then based off of what that value is, it can then run a certain amount of PHP code. So with that, let's go over to the computer so I can give you a demonstration of basically how this works. So this is a basic script to show you how a switch statement works. So we've called this switch.php. Of course, we open with a PHP tag. And then for this, basically what I'm thinking about is the length, the, the time to ship a product to different regions. So let's say you go to ups.com or fedex.com, and it tells you what region you're in, and then it tells you how many days to, to expect the shipping to be. So with that, that's what I'm kind of thinking in this particular scenario. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the variable dollar sign region. So this is what we're going to be querying against. We're going to be seeing what the condition is. And currently we're going to set this to region one. So we're just going to set this to region one. And then of course close with a semicolon. Then we're simply going to go into the switch statement. So with how the switch statement works is use the switch. So you say switch, then open parentheses, and then you dump the variable name in. So whatever condition you're looking for from a variable, you put that variable here, and then you close the parentheses. Then past that, you open the, the squiggly brackets, and then this is where we go and we take a look to see what we should do based on what the value of dollar sign region is. And so one of the things you'll notice is there's no equal signs here. There's no greater than or less than signs here. Basically, all we're doing is we're querying against the value. So we're going to say case, and then if we have uh, a numeric value such as one, we don't have to use any double quotation marks or single quotation marks. So here we have case, and so for case one, so if the value of region is one, which it currently is, then you're going to do a colon, so a full-fledged colon. From here, what we're going to do is we are then going to write out whatever PHP should run if the case is equal to one. So with this, we're just going to do a simple print, double quotation marks, one day shipping, close double quotation marks, semicolon, as always. And then the important thing to remember with switches is for each one of these cases, you have to end it with a break. So you're going to say break. This is where you break out of the switch and then uh, the semicolon. And what happens here is this will break and then that will, that will leave this whole, whole switch statement. Then we're going to do case. And so for this case, if, it's, if the value is two, the value is two, then we're going to do colon, and then we're going to print two-day shipping, and then we're going to break. If case is three, semicolon, and then we're going to do print three-day shipping, and then we break. And then default, so if it's not one, two, or three, if it's anything else, print we do not ship to you, print break, 
print please contact customer support and then this is where you actually do the break out of the switch semicolon and then you close with the squiggly bracket and so this is how it works remember there's no there's no equal signs here there's no greater than less than signs here it is case and then the value that you're looking for so if it's numeric uh, then it's just one. So you can put one, you can put 10, you can put 20 or whatever here. Uh, if it's a string, then you would do the, the single quotation marks. And, you know, if it's a name or something, you would put Bob in. So if it is, if it's a string, you put the, uh, the, the single quotation marks. But if it's simply a number, you can just put the number there. And that's all there is to it. Uh, if we go over now, we can see that we have region and we've set the value to one. So if we go over here, Silicon Dojo switch and so since the value is one it is one day shipping if we change this to two hit file hit save upload this now if we refresh two day shipping again same is true if we hit three we hit file we hit save we upload and then now it says three day shipping so as we change the value here, then it's different within the switch. Now what if we say 33? So 33 obviously is not 1, it's not 2, it's not 3. So that would fall under the default. We do save. We upload. And then this is, we do not ship to you. Please con contact customer support. So that's the basic idea of how a switch statement is written and kind of gives you an idea of why it's very useful in PHP. So that's all there is to a switch statement in PHP. So this is how you can check to see what the value of a variable is. And then based off of what the value is, different events can happen. So again, you can say one day shipping or two day shipping, or you don't ship at all. Or basically, depending on whatever the value of that variable is, you can have code that is run. So this is very good. Again, if you have web forms where people are plugging in certain information, it can go through. And again, depending on what state they live, in or depending on different information if, if you if you have a known number of values you can go and you can check on what the, the 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 value of that variable is and whatever that is then you can run the code uh, and so that this makes it very simple and especially if you've been using else if statements this is an easier way to just be able to write not just write the code but also as you can see to read the code to know what's happening so that's what a switch statement is in PHP, and that's why it matters.